Hello my friends, it's Isabella and today I I know I look a little bit different. Um, I'm wearing a different cap, but I mean, I assure you I'm still the same person. I haven't picked up my camera to vlog in so long, <laughs> but I was, I was just feeling so inspired this weekend. Like last night, I was just like, I should do a 24 hour readathon. And then I was like, I should host a 24 hour readathon. So like out of nowhere, I was just like, does anyone want to participate in a 24 hour readathon with me? I mean, and like three or four people were like, yay, let's do it. So it's like a little mini party with just book nerds that want to read books for 24 hours because we are healthy individuals. Um, but I am actually really excited. I haven't done a 24 hour readathon in so long and I feel like adding this element of interacting with you guys is just going to make it even more fun and hopefully it's not going to distract me too much because I did say that I was going to be doing like reading sprints on Instagram and lives just like updating you guys on my reading and stuff and I'm also gonna be vlogging, and then I'm also gonna be on Twitter, and it's like a whole thing, but it makes me so excited, and it makes me so happy to be doing this with you guys. If you ever want me to do another 24 hour readathon because you weren't able to participate in this one, don't worry, I'm probably going to be doing a lot more of these because I'm already having fun and it hasn't even started. Um, it is currently 9.26, and I said that I was going to start at 11 my time so like 11 a.m est so the plan of course i don't know why i'm explaining a 24-hour readathon but i'm going to be starting at 11 a.m and i'm gonna finish at 11 a.m tomorrow sunday so to start off this vlog hi hello i hope you're doing wonderful today look at my nails it's very black pink of me and i'm obsessed um <laughs> So I thought that I would go through the books that I am planning on reading for today. It's not the most ambitious TBR, but these are books that I've just been really wanting to read ever since I got them. And okay, I'm just going to get to it. I don't know why I'm talking so much. It's probably because I haven't talked like this about books in so long so i'm kind of making up for it the first book that i want to get to in my 24 hour readathon is with the fire on high written by elizabeth acevedo elizabeth acevedo of course is a dominican author and that doesn't really happen very often so i am very excited to read this and then after i finish with the fire on high i really want to pick up oh my god like even just looking at it i get butterflies because i'm so excited to read this the rise of kiyoshi um written by fce with avatar co-creator michael dante di martino kiyoshi is one of probably the most legendary the most iconic avatar that has ever existed also wow you know when publishers do like they go the extra mile and they add like a little something in the book itself i just it's very appreciated. I hope you know that if any publisher is seeing this for some reason. This has a 388 pages. This has 442 pages. And I'm not finished because there is one more book that I want to try and read. And actually, it's a reread for me. It is Wicked Fox, written by Kat Cho. Um, we are matching. Hi, hello, Gumiho. I want to reread Wicked Fox because the sequel, Vicious Spirits, just came out and I still haven't got it, but I want to reread this one just so like the story is fresh on my mind so that when I get Vicious Spirits, which hopefully will be soon, I can just dive right in with my mind full of these characters and this story and this wonderful um legend of the gumiho or the nine-tailed fox and yeah like i just want to read it i want to be back in this world i remember that when i read it i loved it so much because it reminded me of a k-drama and when i read this i hadn't watched that many but now <laughs> having watched over 25 different k-dramas I can definitely tell that I'm going to love this even more than I did the first time. So, and also my nails match, kind of, sort of, not really. Let's go back. This has a 420 pages, so three, I forgot. Over 300, over 400, and over 400. That 
That's over a thousand pages in books. No pictures. <laughs> like I have no graphic novels and no comics and no manga. So this is going to be fun. And I know I said it wasn't ambitious, but maybe it is because these are four, these are, okay, I can't count. These are three books. I know they're not like 500 page books, but they're still over 350 pages. So, you know, I'm staying positive. I feel like I can do this. And I mean, who's gonna tell me otherwise? Soon I'm going to be doing an Instagram live to ask you guys what you are going to be reading for this 24 hour readathon, if you're going to be participating. And I just can't wait to connect with you guys. I've never done something like this. So I'm very excited. I'm like a child on Christmas. And yes, so these are the three books. Hi, say hello to the camera. Hi. And now I still have an hour and a half before it officially begins. I'm gonna go do some Dalgona coffee because I recently perfected the recipe for Dalgona coffee and like the way that I like it and I'm obsessed and I kind of want to have one right now because life is too short to not constantly be eating what you like. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to go now. I'm going to come back here in an hour and a half when my 24 hour readathon officially starts and I'm excited if you are watching this and you participated, let me know if you had fun, if you would participate again in the future and other fun things that we should do together. Cause like, I love y'all and I would love to do more things with you. So let me know. I am open to suggestions and I feel like I've talked so long, like so much. Um, so I'm going, okay, goodbye. Hi, I mean, bye. <laughs> double rainbow outside of my window which is like God's own way of smiling down on my 24-hour readathon so thank you Jesus thank you God thank you Holy Trinity for sponsoring this readathon it is currently 5 30 which means it's been like six hours since we started and even though I technically started an hour late because I was running errands with my dad honestly two hours late but whatever I finished my first book <laughs> like in between errands and Instagram lives and reading sprints and talking with you guys the ones that are participating I I took a a bit to read this book but honestly it's been so fun sharing this experience with you guys and seeing what you guys are reading and doing the reading sprint was such an experience I had so much fun like at first I was a bit self-conscious but then I just like got into it and I had so much fun but I finished my first book of the 24 hour readathon I loved this this is the story of Imani 
Imani Santiago and she had a baby at 14, 14 years old. A baby herself had a baby and this is her story. She's a teenager with a baby at school. She doesn't really know what to do with her life but she's always found comfort in food and cooking and how cooking is more than just mixing ingredients together and making good food and filling up bellies. It also fills up your soul and how good memories can be connected to food and how food can bring a community together. And it's just so wonderful because cooking is such a big part of my culture as well. Like honestly, she was talking about mofongo and pollo guisado, even though I hate pollo guisado, but still like so many of the plates that my grandmother would make or that my Nana would make and they were all here and it's like, like I've, I've eaten you, I know what you're talking about and I know that feeling of food bringing people together and it was just such a wonderful read. It was so magical, it was so wonderful and the character arc of Imani Santiago, it was just so heartwarming and at the, at the end, I'm not gonna lie, I was so happy, like I was so overcome by happiness that I had tears in my eyes. Like I usually don't cry over books because I'm happy, you know what I mean? Because usually I'm reading about death, <laughs> but this book, it was so soft and it made me so emotional and I had such a fun time reading this and I'm so glad that I picked it for my 24 hour readathon. So now that I finished my first book, I think I'm going to go and make some Dalgona coffee and then I'm going to start the queen of all. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Did, did we talk about this? Did we talk about this? If, if we did, let's talk about it again. <laughs> but yes, this is what I'm going to be reading now after I get my coffee. Um, so go get your coffee of choice if you're watching right now. Go get your drink of choice and pick up your book. Okay, so everybody's saying hi. I hope you have your books ready and your drinks of choice ready because we're going to be starting the reading sprint now with some IU music in the background. And yeah, I'm gonna stop vlogging now. Say goodbye vlog. <laughs> reading sprint but now I have my wonderful friend here joining us and you're what are you reading we're reading 
I love it here. Okay, hi, back at it again. It's currently almost 8.30 and I'm on page 38 of The Rise of Kyoshi. And The Rise of Kyoshi has 480 pages. So I have over 400 pages to read and I really wanna finish this before 12 a.m. so that I can sleep a little bit and then of course wake up and pick up the wicked fox so katie you know the queen that she is she was like do you want to facetime and read together so yes that's what we're going to be doing now i'm going to be doing another live like around 10 p.m so in an hour and a half but before that i'm going to be facetiming with katie and hopefully reaching at least page 100 of the rise of kiyoshi ah i just can't stop saying it i'm so sorry if it's getting annoying but this is like the most fun that i've had in a really long time you've made my month honestly you've made my month you've made my year i probably should do this more often because it's just filled me with so much happiness so yeah i just wanted to share that with you i'm gonna stop being so cheesy and get back to reading with katie over for facetime um i hope you're having a lovely time if you participated and if you didn't there's always going to be next time but yeah so i'll catch up with you guys later Who are you? I'm Katie from <laughs> Katie's Book <laughs> What are you reading? I'm reading From Blood and Ash by Jennifer L. Armentrout, which is my third book of the day. Firstly, I finished The Damned by Renee Adier. It was a letdown. Then I read Yon of the Dawn, volume five. Good manga. That's a nap. And now I'm gonna read From Blood and Ash. Before I start the live and start to get distracted, I just wanted to update real quickly. This is what I am listening to, Chill BTS Lo-Fi Hip Hop Mix. It is currently 10 p.m. So I'm in page 111 of The Rise of Kyoshi. And I'm going to be doing a reading sprint now. And I'm, oh wait, sorry. <laughs> Sorry, the camera strap was in the middle. So I'm really hoping to finish The Rise of Kyoshi tonight. Um, this is what I have left. Am I being ambitious? Maybe a little, but I'm hoping that this reading sprint will help me. I fell asleep at 2 a.m. It is now 5 a.m. And I don't want to be alive right now, but I am in the middle of a read-a-thon, so I'm gonna suck it up and talk about the books that I'm reading. <laughs> now that I am awake and conscious and back into the human realm, unfortunately, I am going to read, not Wicked Fox, I'm going to read The Rise of Kyoshi and try to finish this because I'm honestly loving this story and Yes, I'm loving Wicked Fox as well, but I want to focus my attention on Kyoshi first. And after I finish Kyoshi, I'm going to try my hardest and finish Wicked Fox because I'm just loving both. Um, I'm getting all of the K-drama vibes already, especially Hotel de Luna 
and It's Okay to Not Be Okay, aka two of my all-time favorite K-dramas. So I'm honestly living my best life while I'm reading Wicked, Wicked Fox. So I'm gonna read Cry About Being Awake, <laughs> and I'll update you guys soon. You just sneezed and flew 10 feet in the air. Really? It felt higher than that. <gasps> You're an airbender. Sure am. Giant light beams, flying bison, airbenders. I think I got midnight sun madness. I'm going home to where stuff makes sense. unbearable am i right it's 7 a.m <laughs> the last time that i woke up so early <laughs> unwillingly was to go to college so this is giving me like war flashbacks but it's okay because i'm doing something that i love i am reading <laughs> i don't want to say anything because i don't want to spoil it but basically this is the origin story of the legend of kiyoshi the woman the avatar the icon and i'm honestly having the time of my life reading this also i'm missing an earring i just realized <laughs> It is 10 a.m. right now, which means I've been awake for five hours and I am very happy to present the second book of my 24-hour readathon. I have officially finished The Rise of Kiyoshi written by FCE with the co-creator of Avatar, Michael Dante DiMartino. And honestly, is anybody surprised that I'm going to be giving this a 5 out of 5 stars? No, I don't think you understand. I'm upset. If you are, you shouldn't be. I, <laughs> I am the strongest advocate for Avatar The Last Airbender and anything that has to do with Avatar The Last Air Airbender as long as the co-creators are behind it and support it. Um, I'm looking at you, Netflix adaptation. I'm still very salty about that. Learning about the girl behind the legend was just so stupidly entertaining and I had my eyes glued to the pages and I loved it. I loved it so very much. I loved the unexpected romance between Kiyoshi and a certain character that I love to death. I love the exploration of good and evil and um, the gray areas of what's right and what's wrong and I just felt like this was such a wonderful use of the Avatar world like seeing so many of the elements that I have come to love and adore from this universe the legends that these people have created just seeing it in a book and seeing how these characters interact with them it was just <laughs> It was such a wonderful experience when they were talking about flying bisons and when they were talking about the mechanics of bending and it just it made me feel so good to be in this world because it's a world that I love and I honestly thought it was going to go either way. I could either love this to death like I do or I could either be like, oh, I don't feel like they really respected the universe. I don't feel like they did it justice. I'm so happy that I was, that this is the epitome of perfection. Like this is everything that I wanted in an Avatar novel and it gave me things that I didn't even know I could wish for and it was just incredible, it was amazing. But I don't want to talk for too long because I still have a few hours in my 24 hour readathon and I still have one more book in my TBR which is Wicked Fox still matching hi hello um i really want to finish wicked fox i have made 
some progress. I You can't see it because it's too white, um, but I am in chapter 18, which is page 160. So I am here and I'm listening to the audiobook because last night I, my eyes were just dying like they were burning and I didn't want to keep on reading so I started the audiobook on audible using my free credit and I've been like on and off listening to the audiobook while I do other things hopefully when I see you next I'll have finished Wicked Fox and we can talk about our feelings this is of course a reread, but so far it's still a 5 out of 5 star. Like now that I've seen a lot more K-dramas, I can definitely see how K-dramas have influenced this book in the best of ways. Mi Young reminds me of two of these characters from these two K-dramas, and then Ji Hoon reminds me of these two other <laughs> main characters from K-dramas. And imagining these characters as the characters from those K-dramas makes the experience like a five times better than the first time that I read this. So I'm having the time of my life and I want to get back to reading. So I will catch up with you guys later. Two hours later. I present myself to you, wigless, soulless, without brain cells, <laughs> without energy, without a will to live. But guess who finished three books like three from page zero to page whatever i read three entire books in 24 hours <laughs> even though i feel like i just lost 20 years of my life but it's okay because all of these were five stars this one was 4.5 but honestly I'm, who are we kidding all of them were five out of five stars i mean can we talk about my power <laughs> like who who's doing it like me picking five star reads for a 24 hour like all three of them being five star reads my power is unparalleled <laughs> okay let's let's do this it's gonna be quick it's gonna be low energy because i just want to go to sleep first book that i read with fire on high i'm not gonna talk much about it because i already did but i highly recommend this one especially if you're looking for a good contemporary right now to kind of make you forget about the reality that we're living right now. Then I read The Rise of Kyoshi, and after I wake up from my 10 hour nap, I'm going to go immediately to Amazon and order the sequel because I can't live with this ending. I can't, um, I just can't. <laughs> And then five minutes ago, I finished Wicked Fox, which I listened to and also read physically because sometimes the audiobook just didn't go as fast as I wanted to read it. Like sometimes the action was too intense and the audiobook was just too slow and I was like, I need to read faster. So I read this, this is my second time reading it so that I can go to Amazon after I wake up and order Vicious Spirits, which recently came out and it has an equally stunning book cover. But basically, if you don't know what this is about, this is the story of Mi Young and um, <laughs> Ji Hoon. So I swear, I know these names. I was paying attention. It's just my, my brain is starting to shut down but this is the story of Mi Young and Ji Hoon and Mi Young is a Gumiho or a nine-tailed fox which is Korean folklore. Gumihos have always been perceived as these evil lonely um, creatures or monsters because in order to survive they have to kill but Mi Young doesn't like that and she meets this guy and even though her mom has always raised her to be lonely and sad and just focus on killing people she meets this boy and he kind of changes her world <laughs> and they fall in love you know meet cute where he almost dies and she almost eats him it's fine i love it the vibes of this book are so reminiscent of a k-drama and i know that everybody says this but after watching 25 k-dramas um I feel like I have enough credentials to say this and there there were definitely like as I was reading this book I kept on picturing the main characters from this book for, like 
the characters from my favorite K-dramas. These are the three books that I read for my 24-hour readathon. Again, my Insta- like honestly, this is probably the most fun that I've ever had in a 24-hour readathon because it's the first time that I've done it with you guys, like interacted with you and done it reading sprints on Instagram and just like shared this experience with you and so many of you were mentioning me in your stories of the books that you were reading with me and there were so many people all over the world from Netherlands, from Spain, from Germany, from Brazil. It was insane but it, it, it was like so wild and just thinking about it, kind of my brain can't handle it, it just doesn't understand. So I am very grateful to everybody that took this Saturday to just spend it reading with me. I really love this memory that we've created together and I will honestly cherish this forever. We should definitely keep doing this more often. Like. It's like we're a little family. I love it here. Thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching me lose my will to live, but at the same time reading three amazing books. Thank you guys so much for watching. You will never know how much this means to me. I hope to see you next time. Bye. Hey, Jimmy, wow. you nice. Keep going.